Hi, this is Professor Fernandez talking about uh, class notes B in lesson five. This exercise asks us to simplify the expressions below and they all involve complex numbers. Um, so let's look at the first one. So what are we doing here? We are just taking I, we're adding seven and we are subtracting two I. And this is a very um, straightforward exercise to start off with just to remind you that complex numbers satisfy the same um, arithmetic properties that real numbers do. So I can move things around. I can say this is equal to seven plus I minus two I, and then I can just subtract. I minus two I is negative I. So I get seven minus I. So nothing, nothing too uh, crazy going on there. Um, and then similar thing down here. So I can distribute the I here to get I plus I squared. And then I use the fact that I squared is negative one to get I minus one. So that's the second um, exercise there. And then here, what I want to do is I could leave this complex number in this form, but I'm just going to, you know, just like with radicals, uh, we want to eliminate the complex numbers from the denominator. To do that, I'm going to multiply by the complex conjugate. So remember that was the same complex number except with the opposite sign imaginary part. So in this case, the imaginary part is negative one. Um, so the opposite sign of that is positive one. So I multiply the entire fraction by one in this form, one plus I divided by one plus I. Great, and then let's see what happens in the numerator. So if I just multiply this out, I'm gonna get um, one plus I plus I plus I squared. And then in the denominator, I'm going to get one plus I minus I minus I squared. Okay. So in the numerator, I have one plus two I minus one, right? I squared is negative one. In the denominator, I have these plus I minus I canceling. And then I squared is negative one multiply by this negative, makes it into a positive. So in the denominator, I have one plus one. Simplifying all that, numerator, one and negative one cancel. So I'm left with two i. Denominator, one plus one, two. Taking the quotient of those, I get i. So you can see one of the reasons why we like to rationalize, in a sense, right? Um, multiply the uh, fraction by the complex conjugate because it oftentimes yields a complex number that's a lot simpler than what we were um, looking at to begin with. Okay, so then going down here, um, this, what does this mean? So this looks like absolute value, but this is not a real number. This is a complex number. So it's not absolute value, right? So it's the modulus. Um, and remember what the modulus is. Let's scroll up a little bit just to remind ourselves. Um, so up here is the definition that I put in for the modulus. The modulus is the complex number times this complex conjugate. And one thing is that um, the complex, uh, the modulus always yields a real number, right? Z bar produces a real number called a modulus. Okay, so that's good to know because it's a way to check your work, right? If you calculate the modulus of a complex number and you somehow end up with a complex number, then you know that something went wrong along the way. So this is two plus three I, and then I'm gonna multiply it by the complex conjugate, which again is the opposite imaginary part sign. And then I will just multiply this out. So two times two, that gives me four. Um, this part gives me minus six I, and then gets this, this gives me plus six I, and then this gives me minus nine I squared. All right, so the plus six I minus six I, that goes away. Um, and then I have I squared is negative one. So I get four plus nine, which is 13. And that is my answer for that one. And that's it.